well, why isn't there a speed festival in Bromyard? Because of the depth of engineering and uh, manufacturing supply and the racing heritage. And uh, um, started planning it about four years ago in 2012, late. And um, in the last 18 months or so, I've got the right people on board, a super team, um, all the school skill sets required to do a closed road event with, uh, with race cars and fast cars. So it's. Uh, and we finally got to the situation today on the 3rd of April, the sun is shining, we've got a massive crowd and um, everybody's happy, everybody's smiling. Still can't quite believe that we've achieved what we set out to do. Firstly location, it, it's, it's not too far from the West Midlands where obviously there's a big population to draw on. It's also got a fantastic motoring heritage, the very first Morgan cars were built at 100 yards from where we're sat now and it's close to places like Shelsey, Shelsey Walsh Hill Climb and lots of other motoring heritage sites. Hundreds of people have been involved, some of them just today in doing marshalling and stewarding, uh, other people over a period of close on a year now who put massive amounts of time and effort and skill into it. Uh, so I really want to thank everybody from my colleagues on the committee and the board of the company the people who've been helping and the residents of the town for embracing it. The vast majority of people have been really supportive and are out there having a great time and that's what we want to see, people have a really good time. I'm very pleased that um, it's turned out to be a success. People are smiling, um, the traders, everybody's open in the town, everybody's doing a great trade. So um, yes, it'd be great uh, if uh, tomorrow night uh, when we have a few beers we say yeah let's do it again.